Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Chrome uh, PHP script or any other anything to the Chrome tab. What's Chrome tab? It's utility that helps us uh, to schedule uh, executing of some script application or some call anything. I mean shell exec shell um, command and etc. To do that we use cron tab. Cron tab dash dash help will show us list of available methods can be called. You see we have e which is edit, l which means listing, r to delete, p i uh, prompting before deleting the user's cron tab. For example l will show us that there is nothing, just uh, messages. Uh, minus R means nothing uh, again. You see no cron tab again. Uh, I, R, no cron tab again to delete, so it will not prompt anything. Let's uh, So let's add, uh, let's think about we have um, crons index PHP, yeah? So we need to call it, let me show, so we need to call it like home abonnement calls index PHP. I'm not showing, going to show the contents, contents of index PHP, just uh, we should know that we want to call execute this, this script by calling PHP like this, okay, you see I'm executing, it's outputting something, but of course this script can do somewhere to call some call some database manipulations and etc. Now let's add it. So we type cron tab minus e. So let's define. So we are going to run this script every minute. So for do to do that, let's define our parameters. Define time to provide concrete values uh, for minute m, hour, day, or month, and day of week. So it means that first thing is minute. So every minute, uh, you see, wildcard means any. Any minute, any hour, any day of month, any month, any day of week. We are going to call php home command. From the Chrome index PHP. Let's say this file ex outputs some result to the uh, to the shell. Let's pipe it to the file. Abonnent logs Chrome uh, Chrome log. That's all. Escape colon write quit. Uh, if you are using nano as an editor, it's common con control X to save and exit. Okay, you see, installing new contact cron tab minus L, it shows that here we go, we have some execution, some line here, ls, la, logs. You see, we have cron here. So let's see, there is a con, sorry, logs, cron log. We see every, uh, now we are going to wait a bit to see output of our cron script, which will run every, which, which runs every minute. So, um, after some time, it will output some result. Okay, while it's being executed, oh, can't open index. Okay, let's see what's going on. Why it happened? Oh, you see, it's index four. Okay, cron tab. Let's edit it. Cron tab minus i e crons index php saving existing. So yeah. Uh, so cron tab minus l. So while uh, it's being executed, scheduled, 
while it's being scheduled, let's analyze what we have here. As we said, minute, hour, you see hour, day of month, month, day of week. What it means that it means that if we if we want uh, to call uh, every five minutes, so we are going to use like. Mm, uh, we are going to use uh, yeah you see it's executed it's all that's nice so if we are going to execute it every five minutes we just we can do like zero five ten fifteen twenty and and etc or we can simply do five which means that every um five minutes means 0, 5, 10, and etc. Uh, or every 15 minutes, which means 0, 15, uh, 30, uh, 49, 45, yeah. So, it's like this. Or we, if we want to call, execute every 0, uh, every, every zero hour, uh, yeah, you see, uh, 0 a.m. 0 minute so it will be like this or 5 a.m. or and 0 minute you see that too this way or if we are, if we want to call this script every first day of uh, every week uh, we just define it one day um, day of week day of week which which means one means um, as far as I understand, it, it means Monday, because zero means Sunday, um, like this. So now I'm going to put it back like this, and right click. That's all. Thank, thanks for watching. Bye.